Hello everyone! Unless this is the very first video you're ever viewing on my channel, you probably already know I'm a big fan of video games and I like Halloween a lot, um, but a lot of my viewers joined back around August till now, so you might not know that I'm also a really big fan of music and my uh, career, or at least what I like to consider my main career, is uh, working in the music industry and I've been doing that for about 11 or 12 years now. I've done a decent amount of touring. Um, I've been to quite a few places around the world. I've been, been to about 40 countries now. Uh, for the past few years, I've been working for the band Korn. Um, before I worked for them, uh, I was doing like concert production um, stuff in my area locally. Uh, then when I first started touring in 2007, I was working for um, a small record label and I was promoting on the road for that. And then I started tour managing. And then I was a bass tech for a while um, for another band. Uh, and now I'm a personal assistant, so I've done quite a bit. Um, I even did some like um, merchandise booth running on a few different tours, just sort of to you know make things work. That's one big thing about the music industry is while you're touring is just to get everything done, no matter you know how it has to be done. You got to do it. Um, while I was tour managing, I was also doing like you know merchandise shit. So um, I figured I could talk about my you know career a little bit more with you guys maybe show you some of the cool stuff i've gotten over the years some of it's just you know shit that anyone could buy at like retail um but other things are stuff that i've gotten on tour you know sign stuff um i figured i could start off with these are my like touring passes these aren't all of them these are just the ones that uh for the past like couple years that i've gathered um most of these are going to be with corn a lot of these are from europe and russia uh, and a few of these are from like touring in the States as well, but I do have a few from another band um, before Korn um, I worked for a band called Five Finger Death Punch uh, Really shortly. Um, it was basically I worked for uh, the bass player I was a bass tech and that means I took care of his you know bass while he was on stage I made sure uh, it worked it was all tuned, and it stressed me the fuck out. Um, the only instrument that I've ever really played was bass guitar. Um, I was in a band for a really short period of time, and I kind of realized I'd rather, like, you know, work for musicians, um, but not as a tech. And uh, I found that out, you know, the hard way. Luckily, there was nothing wrong on the tour. Uh, it was, for this tour, it was uh, Mayhem, um, which is put on by Rockstar Energy. And um, the tour went fine. Um, no major issues, but I just never was like comfortable with that. I, I, I like doing promotions or like assistant kind of work that doesn't involve instruments. While on the tour that I was a bass tech, uh, I did another cool little job for the guitar player of Rob Zombie. Um, his name's John Five. He also used to be in the band Marilyn Manson uh, and is an awesome solo guitar player. Um, I had a friend on that tour who was another tech uh, for Five Finger Death Punch, and we would hang out you know, after we were done, you know, working. And um, we play, we always played earlier in the day, so we would go uh, just sort of wander around. And he was a sort of like part-time photographer, and he would take his nice camera and hand me a couple like flip cams and say, um, you know, hey, film some cool clips and stuff while other bands are playing while I'm taking photos. And um, after you know the bands would play, he would show them the photos and be like, "Hey, look, I got some cool pictures." And when we were when he was showing um, John Five some of the pictures he took, I took the little flip cam. I was like, "Hey, look, man, I uh, I took some uh, video of you smashing um, your guitar." He would do it every night. It was a part of the show, and then he would auction off those uh, smash guitars on his website. Um, and he liked you know the fact that I filmed it and was like, "Hey, if if you don't mind, uh, do that every night." And, you know, basically just save those clips and I can uh, use those on my website, you know, to show each, you know, guitar that was being smashed. Um, now, I didn't get paid to do this, um, but uh, at the end of the tour, um, he gave both me and my friend a signed smash guitar that was played on stage, which is cool. Now, these aren't like his super expensive guitars, you know, he wouldn't smash those. These were like sort of uh, dummy guitars that were plugged in. He played a few little notes and then would smash the shit out of them. Um, this one is actually from, you can see on the uh, headstock, it's from Atlanta um, from August uh, 1st. And he put a little uh, 666 on there as well. Um, and it is signed, it just says, you're the best, thank you, John Five, on the fretboard there. Um, and it even has some uh, white makeup smeared on there. Uh, all the members of Rob Zombie, at least at that time, were covering themselves in makeup and like powder and stuff. 
So this is probably one of the cooler things I've ever got on tour. Not too many times, you know, it's like uh, a band member goes, hey, you want a, a guitar? You know, even if it's a broken one. But honestly, uh, I kind of like the fact that it's broken um, even more. It just it creates a cool conversation piece, you know, sitting up in the living room on the wall. I just realized earlier I showed you the VIP passes uh, that were for my wife and her brother on the Mayhem Tour. Uh, this was my actual pass that has my goofy ass face on the back. Uh, one of the few times that I ever had to have a picture taken for my laminate. Um, these are from the very first full tour I ever did. Um, Family Values Tour in 2007. I had one signed by all the members of Korn, uh, they're headlining, it's their tour, and one signed by just other uh, band members that I thought were cool on that tour. Um, little side notes, I've been a really big fan of Korn since I was like 11 years old, um, so the fact I ended up working for them was just sort of a cool coincidence. Uh, I was on their street team as a kid, I went to like 32 concerts before I ever started working to the, for them. Um, so. I still like to get stuff signed every once in a while uh, by different bands and by them just to have for the collection. Um, I'm still a fan. And this one um, kind of has a cool story. This top signature and that little doodle, that's actually, I don't think it was supposed to be of me. Um, this is signed by Vinnie Paul, who was the drummer for Pantera and Damage Plan. And this uh, band right here, Hell Yeah, this is who we were touring with at the time. Um, I went, technically it was at like 3 o'clock in the morning um, at a Walmart uh, on the tour. Like basically everyone stopped off and was just doing some grocery shopping. And I'll never forget being uh, at Walmart in the line with Vinnie Paul buying groceries at like 3 a.m. Uh, I think they were buying like fishing poles and shit too to go like, you know, fishing the next day. So um, just a very, if you know anything about metal or hard rock, um, one of like the biggest like legends, one of the biggest bands in metal uh, of, of all time. So that's a really cool signature to me. And I'll always remember that fucking tour being my first tour also. I'll show you now a few things that are not tour related. Um, this is pretty cool. It is a uh, tool countertop standee that was advertising uh, the DVD release uh, for one of their music videos, Vicarious. Comes in this uh, cool packaging with these lenses. Uh, you can view different little slides of art inside the package. Um, and it also was advertising the, uh, the Schism DVD and the Parabola DVD that had come out earlier. Um, <clears throat> got this from uh, working at a like music and clothing store at the time. Uh, this is back when I was like... Uh, I started there when I was like 17, um, and I worked there for almost eight years um, on and off from like touring and doing other things, and it was just one of the cool little promo items that they sent in to us. This is a giant singing Rob Zombie doll. The only reason why I'm really showing this is uh, one of the very first like conventions that I ever went to was like a toy fair, uh, and I was... A little excited and was just sort of buying anything I saw that was remotely interesting to me. Um, it's cool. It's a giant singing Rob Zombie doll. Uh, I really don't have anything else like this and it just kind of hangs out in my living room like basically with that guitar. <laughs> but uh, it's really quiet but it does sing um, Dragula I believe. Yeah. Let me see if I can get it to work. I don't know if you can hear that at all but this last item I'm going to show uh, comes from two really cool dudes, and they sent it all the way from Brazil. Uh, these are two pairs of drumsticks that were owned by Igor Cavalera. Um, he used to be the drummer for the band Sepultura for many years, and more recently um, the drummer for the band Cavalera Conspiracy. Um, while I was on tour with Korn over in Europe, we played a few shows with Cavalera Conspiracy. Um, I talked to, you know, the band and uh, told Igor how much of a fan I was of him and Sepultura. Um, and his brother is the singer of that band, Max Cavalera, and of his brother's, you know, other projects. And um, I wanted a drumstick. And they had already packed up their gear, um, and it was the last show that we were going to be playing with them. And they, he was like, dude, I'm so sorry, I don't... You know, I don't have any on me. Um, my, my drum tech, um, you know, could uh, send you some if you give him his address. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, I mean, I live in Florida. Doesn't he live in Brazil? And right now we're in Europe. So I just didn't see that happening. Um, and lo and behold, about a month later or so, after a few emails back and forth, 
he sent me uh, a signed pair right there. Um, I'm guessing these are the model that he was using for Cavalier Conspiracy and a older pair from when he was in Sepultura and he sent them to me like this in this X shape. Um, so I just kept them like that. I thought it looked pretty cool and it really meant a lot that you know well after you know the tour was over uh, they took the time to you know put together this little package and sign them for me so that was really badass of them. All right guys that's it for this video. I just sort of wanted to give you a little bit of a background and a taste of you know, my other life. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it. Ask any questions you want. And, you know, if, if it was liked by a decent amount of people, maybe I'll uh, do another little, you know, music-related video down the road. Um, I have quite a few stories that I could tell um, that wouldn't get me in trouble. I can't tell the stories that would get me in trouble. Sorry, guys. But, um, uh, I, you know, I don't mind talking about them. And I've, I've in the past, like in older videos, I've mentioned, you know, some of the stuff I've done. But you know, those videos used to get like, you know, 50 views, 75 views. Now I think there's a little bit more of an audience that might find it interesting. So let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.